Hello everyone. Welcome to Chemizon Complete Chemistry. So this is a question 12 of the same JAM 2022 paper. So this is from which chapter? This is from Organic Spectroscopy. Okay, the spectral data is given to us. This is from Organic Spectroscopy. Okay, so the spectral data is given to us. What we have to find out is we have to find out the correct structures. Okay, so molecular formula is given. This is the 1H NMR data and IR. Okay, so always remember whenever you do the analysis of the unknown structure using organic spectroscopy principles, first what you have to check is always check 1H NMR data. Okay, first you have to go for 1H NMR data and then you will go for IR data because many times you will find that these values are not as per the expected values. Okay, so let us see. The best method for solving this type of problem is by the method of elimination. Okay, read each and every data carefully, all the values carefully and try to eliminate the options. That would make the work very, very simple. So in all the cases, you can see the benzene ring is present. Okay, so first what we can do is we can find out the, uh, we can find out the, uh, what will be the substitution. So for benzene proton, that is pro sp2 hybridized proton, that is this proton, what is the 1H NMR values, the chemical shift values? Chemical shift values is around 7.0 ppm. Okay, based on the substituents that are attached, it can slightly vary. So you can see these two set of signals will be for which protons? This will be for the benzene protons. Okay, and you can see it is a set of two two protons. That means it will be symmetrical like this. Okay, it will be symmetrical like this. Okay, here there will be some group R1. Here there will be some group R2. And let's say this and this two are having same chemical environment. So they will give one signal and these two protons will give another signal. So what we have to find out is from this two is to two ratio, we can come to know that it is a para substituted benzene ring so you can see here there is one and four position that is para here also there is one and four one and four okay so a can be the product c can be the product b can be the product here you can see this is ortho and meta okay so d is straight away eliminated so from one data we eliminated one option now what we have to see next is we have to see the integration ratio okay this is the next thing that you have to check what is the meaning of integration ratio set of protons that you can see okay what is the set of protons let me erase this okay so you can see this two we have already seen this is present in all the a b and c option remaining if you see there is one h that is there should be a single proton one h then there should be a set of three proton that is three one is to three is to two okay so there should be three sets of proton in this ratio one is to three is to two so here you can see there is three 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 there is three is to three okay here the integration ratio is three is to three so this option is incorrect now we have to see between option c and option d here if you see there is these two proton, this is one. So one is two, then this is two, one is two, two is two, and me, me means methyl. So here also there are three. So one is two, two is two, three is present. So this can be the product. Now let us see option B. Here also there is one. And then here we have two. And then we have three. So by integration ratio also we cannot determine which will be the correct answer. Now we have to see the remaining proton. So what is going to be important? Crucial peak is this one, 2H. Okay, the peak for 2H. This you have to remember very, very important that OCH2 or if it is a OCH3, okay, the CH2 or CH3 group that is directly attached to oxygen. This, this is asked in many, many times in the question, it is repeated. You have to remember this chemical shift value is around 4 ppm. Okay, 
is around 4 ppm so that is that that is present you can see around 4 is 3.8 closest to 4 is 3.8 3h singlet that is for this peak me and me okay me and me so again you cannot predict by using this singlet 3h peak now we have to see which one we have to see this peak of 2h doublet okay 2h doublet okay that is this one let me change the color okay so for these two protons if you see here at the adjacent carbon there is how many carbons one here there is zero so total there are how many carbons around this ch2 group there is one so the splitting pattern will be one plus one that is two so here the splitting pattern will be doublet okay now let us see for this two protons for these two protons here there is oxygen okay normally the splitting take place only when there is the protons that are attached to hydrogen that are attached to carbon okay like ch2 ch3 so this will not couple okay these three protons will not couple with the two hydrogen and here also there is no carbon so there is zero hydrogen so zero plus one will be one that is singlet okay this is the one way so which is the correct answer the correct answer is option c b is not correct one more way we can confirm why the answer is c and not d by the value of chemical shift okay i told you just now if it is like this och2 if it is och3 then the value for this set of proton is how much 4.0 ppm okay if you see for option b here these two protons okay one side what we have we have oxygen okay here we have oxygen and on the other side we have this benzene ring that will also show anisotropic magnetic anisotropy and for these two protons the chemical shift value will be around 4.8 to 5 4.8 to 5 it will not be as low as like ch3 it is not even closer to 4 okay so here if we see generally for these protons that are next to two, sp2 hybridized carbon uh, what is the value what is the nmr value it is 2 to 3 okay it is 2 to 3 ppm but because of the magnetic anisotropy due to benzene ring, it is increased from 2 to 3 to 3.6 ppm. Okay, so what is the correct answer for this question? It is going to be the correct answer is option C. I hope you have understood this question. Thank you.